Hi folks, I'm JD Pyatt with IcoTech Game Calls. Welcome to the online tutorial video for downloading and programming your IcoTech GC350 or GC500 game call. And this process covers both the first generation and the Gen 2 models GC350 and GC500. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome to the tutorial. Downloading some sounds from the IcoTech website and transferring them from the hard drive of your computer to the SD card that comes with your game call. Today we're going to be using the Mac system. First thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for the sound that we're going to download from the IcoTech website and place it into for storage. I'm going to name that folder IcoTech Sounds. Okay, my folder is created. I'm going to place it right here for now. The Icotech Bulk Sounds Backup folder right here is something I'd suggest when you purchase a game call, either model, is to copy those sound files and store them on your computer in a folder. That way, if anything were to ever happen to your SD card, you have all these sound files backed up on your computer that you can create a new SD card. So definitely want to back those sounds up. Now with the Mac operating system, you're going to need a secondary app called Clean My Drive 2. This drive is located on your computer and it runs in the background. There's nothing you have to do with it other than when you first download this app, need to allow access to your internal and external drives that are connected to the computer. And what this Clean My Drive 2 does is that Mac operating systems will attach a ghost file to the file that you're transferring from the hard drive of the computer to the SD drive of the SD card. That ghost file corrupts the SD card, causes the software in the caller to not perform properly. So this Clean My Drive 2 is a must have if you're going to be using a Mac system. We have available on our website under the information tab uh, information on how to use it, how to download it, um, what it does, basically what I'm telling you now. And we also provide you the link to the App Store to download that Clean My Drive 2. So again, Clean My Drive 2 is a must using a Mac system and downloading sounds and transferring them to the SD card. Okay, now that that is discussed, let's move on to the website <coughs> and get ready to download a sound. So on the home page, you'll see the information bar located at the top. We're going to go to the sound library. We're going to want to go to the sound previews and downloads because today we're working with the GC500 and this also covers the GC350. Whether it be a Gen 1 or Gen 2 model, GC350 or GC500. When I click on that link, it's going to open up the library. And it's going to show all the sounds that we have available. And they will all be categorized pertaining to what sounds they are. So for today, I'm using the Gen 2 GC500. And now I'm going to pick a Kyohau. Let's do the Apollo Invite. As you see, we have a Preview tab and a Download tab. I want to click on that Preview to listen to the sound first and decide whether or not that's the sound I want to add to my caller. It'll open up in a second window browser and then immediately, if you have good internet, start playing. This is a sound sample of Ico Apollo Invite. This is a sound sample of... So that is an example of the sound samples, the previews. Next to the preview tab, you'll see the download. You click the download, it's going to open into a second browser, and it's going to direct you to the Dropbox page that the file is stored on. It'll open it up. 
show you that it can't be previewed and that is basically because it is an encrypted file only thing that will preview it will be the game caller I want to download this sound so I'm going to click download and with Mac you'll see the download take place up in the right hand corner of your browser window you'll get a warning that it can't be opened which we understand the only thing that will it will be the game call so I'm going to click that recent downloads tab and you'll see our sound is located right here icoapolloinvite.ico I'm going to click down hold on it drag it over and I'm going to drop it right into my icotech sounds folder that we created I'm going to clear my download minimize my page now today I'm working with the Gen 2 GC500 that caller comes with 200 sounds already on it the cards full so in order for me to add a new sound to it I'm gonna have to take a sound off of it so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my caller and there's two ways that you can plug in your game call you can either use a supplied USB cable and plug into the port on the back of the caller and USB port onto the computer or you can remove the SD card and plug it directly into your computer so let's connect this SD card the card is now connected and you'll see it has 200 sounds on it so I'm going to replace sound 200 and what I'm going to want to do is I'm just going to drag the 200 that's on the card now straight to my trash. We've already got it backed up in our bulk folder. So we still have a copy of that sound file if we ever wanted to put it back onto the SD card. So with that sound being number 200, I need to add, rename this sound file, adding the three digit number 200 with a space between the last number and the first letter in the name okay so now I've got that file renamed it's ready to go onto my SD card I'll click one time on it highlight it I'm gonna copy it now I'm gonna go back to my SD card and I'm going to paste it you'll see it's my computer placed it up top here I'll go over and clean up by name and we'll put it at the end so now we have our sound downloaded stored renamed and placed onto our SD card now it's time to update our remote control all right before we update our remote a couple things I'd like to discuss and that is one an SD card um, some guys like to go out purchase separate SD cards like for the GC350 to have multiple cards made up that the way they can in and out um, also for the 500s guys buy them one thing about the SD card requirements is that it needs to be a class 4 card and formatted to FAT or FAT32 and it needs to be full size those micro SD cards won't work properly so make sure it's a full size class 4 SD card and it can be anywhere from 2 gigabytes up to and no more than 32 gigabytes full size SD card so that's one thing about the SD card requirements that work in our callers also the cables that we use for Updating our remote control after changes that will be made is basically it's a standard auxiliary cable, but it's in stereo mode uh, with 3.5 millimeter male end jacks. So that's the auxiliary cord that we will be using now to update our remote control. All right, now that we've got a couple sounds added to our SD card on our GC500, let's update the remote. And to update the GC500 remote, I want to power on the caller power on the remote control and I'm going to plug into the back of the collar first into the sink port and I want to make sure that plugs seated in there fully 
and then plug into the side of your remote control and you'll see update sounds and then the caller communicating with the remote transferring that information so once that information is fully transferred it's going to flash OK and then after it's done flashing OK it will sh display your call list and at that point we're going to shut off the caller, shut off the remote control and unplug them. Now we've got the OK flash. Our sounds will be displayed here shortly. At that point I'm going to turn them both off and unplug them. Then we'll turn the call back on and test our last sound. Hello, invite. Awesome. If you have any further questions, uh, contact us through our website at service at icotech.com. Hopefully everybody is successful using this process and uh, gets to spend a lot more time out there hunting. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Icotech. Dead serious game calls and decoys.